Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from May the 6th up to the 12th of May 2018. And this is for you coming from Sagittarius. Let's start with the 6th Sunday. And it's not going to be a very friendly Sunday for you. Well, let's start with the morning-afternoon period. And there are planets here who want to wedge um, and bring difficulties between you and the people who love each other by you saying the wrong thing or you hearing the wrong thing. And your action should not be any kind of an egoistic kind of an action. The best way is to be agreeable and be appreciative in the morning-afternoon period, whether with family members, whether with friends, whether with colleagues, whether with the people you do business with. Let them have their say, be agreeable. Let the hours pass by. It's only a few hours and you'll be able to keep everything under control. Evening nightfall gets a bit worse. Now rebellious planets are there, making you rebellious, not happy with the way things are planned, not happy with this, not happy with that. A person who is just willing to be non-cooperative in everything. And so why bother going out? You're going to spoil the fun for many, many people. But if you want to improve it, Tell yourself, I'm not going to take the lead. I'm just going to agree to everything what others have planned. And I leave it to them and I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the evening quietly. That way you'll be able to enjoy the evening quietly. The seventh Monday, an extremely lucky morning and afternoon period for you, whether it's at your place of work, whether in business, whether if you're on holiday, whatever. In fact, there's a lot of talk about holidays and travel plans. And so if you are on the internet on this morning afternoon period, you could make some very valuable contacts, whether they are to do with business, whether friendship, whether to do with job chasing. So go on that because these are global planets. So you've got to think globally and the internet is global. So use the internet morning afternoon periods for your own gain and you're going to get something in hand. Other than that, if you are in the office, or if you're in business, you're going to be very lucky. So get down to it to project your ideas, to project your views in your place of work. Other people want to hear it. And in business, you'll be able to find ways how to charm your business opportunities and you'll make some good business contacts as well in the morning, afternoon. So get busy. Evening nightfall turns extremely bad and I mean extremely. Things just go wrong. Could be that all your plans for the evening nightfall get cancelled, get postponed, people forget about you, they don't show up, you had a date and it won't show up either. Something or another is going to make you very angry and it's going to make you very disappointed as well. So double check all your plans for the evening hour by hour, make sure things are going according to plan. The planet of argumentativeness is very active. So you'll want to fight your way into any kind of decision making, but don't. Because if you do, you're on the wrong side of things. Whatever you say and do is not going to be appreciated. And don't be hasty and impatient in judging anybody. It'll backfire on you. So be the nicest person on earth for the evening nightfall if you have to be out. Otherwise, you're going to spoil the fun for many people. The eighth Tuesday very slow planets are there in the morning afternoon and they always make you a little bit frustrated a bit gloomy is that you are used to the fast moving pace and here comes that slow morning afternoon period and so you have to go slow because you cannot go faster than your planets you'll be in no man's land you'll come back empty-handed and very confused so go slow hour by hour let things that they're going to go bad let me tell you hour by hour and so you'll be attentive to where things are going to go bad. Make sure your deadlines are not overlooked. Make sure your commitments in business are not overlooked. Make sure your plans to meet whoever and all that are not forgotten. Otherwise, it's going to be not a nice morning afternoon period. But I like your evening nightfall fantastically well. The best people you meet, the chances of chasing the romance you want, meeting the business people, meeting the people who can help you in job enhancement, all that is waiting to happen. And whatever your choice is, you're going to come back with more than a handful of good news in the evening nightfall period. Go out and enjoy yourself, dress well, you're going to be watched. 
and people will want to know you. So the limelight is on you for the right reason in the evening nightfall period. So go out and enjoy yourself. The ninth Wednesday starts with very aggressive planets. They are not against you. In fact, they are on your side. But these aggressive planets can make you very determined to get what you want. So for that romance, you could be just over-determined and you'll come out looking as a bull in a china shop wanting to have your way and that's not good. So take the soft approach in all areas of your life in the morning, afternoon, in your place of work, in your business areas, having lunch with anybody. Be the polite person, be the patient person. The key word is patience. And you will see when you take the soft approach, you just got what you want anyway. There's a better way. Evening nightfall is really wonderful. There's talk of holidays, there's talk of travel, or you could be already doing that. Go on the internet if you're not going out anywhere. And you could roam the internet and make some fabulous contacts. It's an internet world nowadays. And when I talk of travel, you could be traveling on the internet. So you're very lucky evening nightfall period. And you can be interneting and you will get something very nice, even if it's chasing for business or getting news about jobs. And if you're going out with your friends, you're going to enjoy it very much. So be busy, have something planned for the evening nightfall period and you're going to get a lot of advantage. Thursday the 10th for you coming from Sagittarius is a good morning and afternoon period and you'll have the limelight on you and you'll be able to say and do the right things and you'll be definitely a very lucky person and you'll meet important people as well. So make sure you're dressed well and look good. You're going to be watched for what you say and what you do. So you have to be prepared. If you are not, everything comes as a surprise and you are scattering about trying to get your act together. Tell yourself, first thing you get up in the morning, I've got to look good because something important might happen for me at my place of work or in business or anywhere else. That's the way to get prepared for this wonderful morning and afternoon good times. And you're going to be in the limelight, so be prepared to say and do the right things. Evening nightfall period turns very slow. And when they turn slow, they postpone your plans, they cancel your plans, they bring disappointments, they make you unhappy and gloomy. So double check whatever your plans are for the evening nightfall period. Otherwise, you're going to be left high and dry one way or another. You could meet people you don't like from your past. You could get news about something from the past making you very depressed. Things like that are waiting to happen evening nightfall session. So be ready, be on your toes for all these things to go wrong. That way you, when you are ready, you can righten them as quickly as possible. The 11th Friday for you in Sagittarius is good. It's what we call a water and fire day. Things are going to be the most charming, things are going to be the most aggressive. You could meet people like that or you could yourself be like that. Moody one minute and aggressive the other and full of energy and then lacking energy. This kind of a morning afternoon period you're going to have. It's a working day and there are many emotional planets on this morning afternoon period for you. You cannot afford that. You cannot afford to daydream and think emotionally. You've got deadlines, you've got responsibilities at work, you've got to do business, you've got to be on your toes. You will be very imaginative though, and so use this imaginative to enhance whatever you're doing, whether in business, whether in job, whether chasing for the romance, you'll be ready to charm a bird of a tree. So it's positive, but don't let the emotional side overpower the logical side. Evening nightfall period is when you are really ready to go and you are determined to get what you want and to enjoy yourself and you will portray your energies. But the only one little thing I ask for you is don't get too oversensitive about what it is, what is said because you might retaliate or what you say to somebody, somebody else might retaliate. So again, be polite, use words which are soft, a tone of voice which is soft, a body language which is soft, and all these planets that want to really help you, but they are too aggressive, they want to help you quickly and all that, they will go slow and you will be able to do it nicely. That's the whole idea. So it's a nice day for you, 11th Friday. Let's go to the 12th Saturday, and that's really a fantastic Saturday for you. 
morning, afternoon, you have the luck and the charm and you have to use it. So call people that you want to be with, whether for business, whether to discuss job enhancement, whether to be out with your colleagues or your bosses. And you're going to have all these chances coming your way. If you don't do anything, you just have a very pleasant morning and afternoon period. But this kind of connections don't come very often. You can meet very important people. So morning, afternoon, although it's a Saturday, try and think of it to enhance your business or to enhance your job areas as well. Go out with the people that matter. Go out with the people you love as well. But the business planners in the morning, afternoon, I think you have to concentrate to improve your circumstances. Evening nightfall is also wonderful and that's when you can really enjoy and what you say and do, you are the center of attraction, you like that very much and you'll be a person who'll say the right things and you could meet very important people as well in the evening nightfall session. You could come across somebody that you're going to like very much, somebody you've admired. These sort of things will happen on a wonderful evening like this. So make sure you dress very well and look good because you are going to be watched. Well, that's the Saturday for you and I like it very much. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50.50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'm going to talk to you about your next eight or nine years in all areas of your life. It's going to be an intensive 90 minutes, age by age, calendar year by calendar year, covering everything in your lifetime. And so go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email and based on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms and face reading you while I while we Skype, I will try to get your position in life as best as possible in the next eight or nine, for the next eight or nine years. And it's all for USD 50, that's all. Well, until then, thank you and good luck.